all together. We come out the door there. We come all the way around here, and we go around and have a dancing contest. This is while the show was going on, or while between shows. You mean you go to see the show on the inside, and you see the guy dance on the stage. But when he come off of that stage, there'd be some dancers backstage waiting to see how good he was back then at alley. Nobody to bother you. Everything was nice. And I mean, you have your sessions back here, see a guy dance. We stopped right here. All this is out here, Weezy. You don't have the club that you used to have or the entertainment that you used to have to where the younger generation can uh, develop, you know. Because I see a lot of talent and just going, just walking the street, going the ways. Good talent. And uh, it's very hard and it's very frustrating. Like the olden days, you didn't have a show if you didn't have a singer, a tap dancer, That's right. and pro probably a novelty act. That's right. You had but a show that, then. But all that changed when rock came in. Yeah, see? but this is what this theater was built up on. That's right. And the rock ruined this theater. Rock closed this theater. No, that's not true. Kids today are oriented to what they hear on radio. And if they, if what we have here is not what they hear on radio, they don't want to come and see it. We, we've, had a lot of, we've had a lot of amateur shows here. I'm going to show you something else. I have danced in front of an audience, tap dance. If some kids in the audience had never seen a tap dance, ask me, what are you doing? How do you work your feet like that? they never seen this. So how do you know they like it or not? In every place I dance, they like it. But I'll show you why. They had never seen a guy dance. They, they seen uh, Freddie Astaire and Gene Kelly on, on, on the tap. But they never seen a black dancer dance where it relates to them. So they never know what's happening. Bring it back and put it on this stage in here and give a legitimate show and put everything on it. And I'll show you, they'll eat this theater. Daddy. Daddy. Can't you do that? Can you do the sand dance? That sand dance. Yeah, I'm doing the sand. There's a lot of sand in Los Angeles where I was born. And sand all over everything. It's like I've been on a desert. And uh, by being so much sand, I got to fooling around one day. I needed a novelty for my dancing. And I says, why not do a sand dance? And during the meantime, I was trying to be a prize fighter. And I used to dance in the rosin box in the corner of the ring to get rosin on my foot so I wouldn't slip around. And the people seemed to enjoy me doing that dance in the rosin box better than they did me boxing. So I made me up a box, and I perfected the sand in this box. They tried bird seed, they tried screen wire, they tried newspapers, and I wanted to get a finer effect that would carry an identification. So I got sand. I put the sand on my shoes, glued the sand to my shoes, and wore the board out. And then I glued the sand to the board and wore my shoes out. And I found out that only the sand would wear out if I just laid it, let it loose on this board. So I laid it loose on the board. Instead of wearing the board out and my shoes out, I wear the sand out. Bill Robson had his own novelty dancing up and down the stairs. He saw me dancing in Los Angeles one night on the sand. And after the show, he came backstage and told me, says, uh, I should keep up the sand dance as a novelty because his novelty kept him working. And uh, sand dance would be my novelty. It would keep me working. 